On both of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s visits to Bimini, it was Bimini historian and boat builder Ansel Saunders who personally took Dr. King out on his boat. Dr. King, when he stepped on this soil, I could see that there was something about him and Bimini. Because all the people that came here from way back said that there's one thing about Bimini that they can't put their hands on, but just to wrap it up in small words, they showed through the heavens and said, I love this place. Later that evening, Mr. Saunders was also given the honor of introducing Martin Luther King III to Bimini. I just introduced Dr. Martin, introduced Sir Lyndon Pilling in Nassau Convention. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. father was there in a wheelchair. And when I finished introducing him, he called me down there as I was passing and he said, son, you sound just like my boy. Means Dr. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Jr. was dead then for a long time. But I said, I have to say, I'm, I'm meeting three generations here tonight. I met the father, the son, and I won't say the Holy Ghost, another son. <laughs> For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.